Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the belief in you to accomplish your dreams in your sport. I'll be your mentor and give you the skills, strategies, and guidance to make it happen. Dream big, believe in you, and go after your dreams. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey there, Tiff here, and welcome to Tiffany Micah podcast. Awesome to have you here. Well, I haven't talked much about goals this year and the reason for that was that I hadn't really set any goals earlier in the year. And to be honest, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to accomplish anymore. And I felt really lost. And if you'd been listening uh, to my episodes over the last number of years, you I, you would have heard me uh, talk about turning 50 last year and and lessons learned that I learned in turning 50 and, and all of that kind of thing. And so when I got to that age of the big 5-0, which I was absolutely dreading, I must admit, I went through a whole process. Um, and initially it was the fact that I felt like I hadn't accomplished all the things that I wanted to accomplish by the time I turned 50. So therefore I felt really disappointed. Um, I... I felt sadness uh, and disappointment with with the world that I could see, and that's uh, I, I found that time really, really difficult to to deal with. I was I, I can remember the age of being forty five and and going up to heading towards fifty, going, oh my god, I'm going to be fifty in five years. Get to forty six, oh, I'm going to be fifty in four years. You know, big dread because there was a lot of things that I wanted to accomplish. And I was putting more and more pressure on myself. And I hadn't, uh, by the time I then turned 50, uh, I felt like, well, I hadn't accomplished those. So uh, during that time too, my, my hubby kept telling me, you know, you've accomplished so much. You've been a tennis player, a coach. You've been successful in, in teaching tennis and a sports skills business. And you're a golf player, you're a golf coach. You're successful in teaching that as well. And you can play any sport that you put your hand to. And, you know, you can do all these great things. But the thing was, was like all I saw was failure and disappointment because I couldn't see what my hubby could see I couldn't see what other people were telling me I could see and to turn a long story into a short story because I could talk about this for, for a long time only to help you but I won't bore you is that the world is a mirror of what you see so the world that I saw at that time was uh, failure and disappointment. I didn't like the world I saw and I knew that I had to change it. And, and that was a big process that I had been, been going through all late last year. And also even through this year, uh, especially the first, I would say up until at least May this year, trying to figure some stuff out and by me going through this process, I didn't set any goals this year. And it's been the first time that I've never worked towards anything. And I also looked at changing my future. I wasn't prepared to share this with, with anyone at the time while I was going through this, but I was looking at changing my, my future. I actually applied to the Defence Force uh, to join the Air Force, which was what I really wanted to do. I've always wanted to join the Defence Force. And I thought, all right, well, let's do it now. They're still accepting people at the age of 50. Let's do it. Um, I spoke to a career counsellor, um, which she's not really a career counsellor, but that's I guess way best way to describe it. But she helped me get really clear about my strengths and what uh, types of working environments I'd prefer. And so I was going through this big big process and I couldn't share it with you because I found it too hard to talk about because I'm on the other side of it now it's much easier for me to talk about it but as I was going through this um, process it was really challenging road for me because I didn't know what the future was going to bring I didn't know where I was going to head I didn't know what I was going to do um, 
But now here I am on the other side of, of working through all these things, you know, I want to be that mentor to you that I initially wanted to be when I first started these podcast episodes. I wanted to be here for you. Um, I've been building an online golf store, so I want to be able to build it up so it's worth, you know, yes, so it's worth millions and to be able to sell it in the future and uh, generate a lot of sales out of that. So that's what I've been working on. I've been um, teaching a lot of golf, uh, which has been really exciting, and and a lot more tennis, which has been really exciting. Been really enjoying that, and getting back into golf tours as well. So there's been quite a bit on um, the plate that I've been working towards and working on. But I'm also here. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to help you and uh, take our next steps forward. Uh, so all I can say is happy to be back. Uh, we are going to go through a period right now here in Sydney, where I live here in Sydney, Australia, where we're going into a lockdown process again. Um, I know that a lot of countries have been going through that again in the Northern Hemisphere early in the year. So it looks like it's our turn to go through that. Um, but we never have to stop working towards our goals. So today what I want you to be doing uh, is, is stopping what you're doing and reflecting. Uh, here we are halfway through the year and I want you to see where you're at. And in this episode that we'll have following this one, uh, we will then set some goals for the rest of the year. Uh, we'll do it in a simple way so it's much easier to do that. I know sometimes in the past when I've done goal setting with you, uh, it's been very, very detailed, which is, which is great, but I want to make things very simple for you and easy for you to get on with it. Cause sometimes we can get caught up in too much detail and just feel exhausted about all, about all the things that we, we have to do. So I don't want you to feel like you have to rush through this process either. I want you to give yourself a breather, give yourself some recovery time, and then we'll reset. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to work through our what I will call our recovery period. And this is actually reflecting on the last six months and what's happened. Uh, and so I've got a few questions here that I'm going to get you to work on. So question one is what are the lessons you have learned over the last six months? So the lessons that you've learned, I want you to detail what the, the good lessons that you've learned and also the challenging lessons because again this is you know we always want to be learning from from what works well and what doesn't work well and so i want you to look at the good and also the ones that have been most challenging for you question number two is what has worked well these past six months so I want you to be looking at what has worked well, what what are the things that you've done? And you'll be able to gauge that from that first question anyway, from the lessons that you've learned. So uh, what, what are the things that have worked really well for you um, that have helped you accomplish or get you to the point where you are right now? You know, I can say with me, you know, the, the things that have worked really well for me is just going through this process that I've been going through over the last number of months in helping me set my path of, of where I want to go for the future because it's been, uh, you know, quite a, quite a process for nearly 12 months now. And uh, it's nice to be on the other side of it, to, to be quite honest. Uh, so I want you to look at what, what has worked uh, well for you in these past six months. Number three, what has not worked well in the past six months? Again, you can refer back to question one, the challenging areas, but have a look, what hasn't worked so well for you? Itemize it, be clear on what it is so, so that you know that there's certain areas that hasn't worked very well for you. And um, it, it gives you a, um, you know, it's a good way for you to see it on paper uh, because you get it out of your head. And that's the most important thing. We want to get stuff out of your head. Question number four, have you achieved your goals for these six months? So if you have, write yes, write down what the goal was and write down how you've achieved it. If it's no, the answer is no, write down why you haven't achieved it uh, so that you're aware uh, because it's all going to help us in planning for our, the next episode especially. And question number five will be what's next? 
So what do you have to do next to achieve those goals that you haven't achieved? Or there may be some new goals that you want to pursue. I want you to lay them all out here in this question about what's next. And then we can meet next time and we will uh, set you on the path for the rest of the year. So um, I want to give you the time to be able to work through this to get yourself ready to reset yourself for the rest of the year. Okay. So the questions are again, what are the lessons that you've learned over the last six months? What the good ones are and the challenging ones are. Number two, what has worked well for the past six months? Number three, what has not worked well for the past six months? Number four, have you achieved your goals for the last six months? Yes. How? No. Why not? And number five, what's next? So write out everything that you got to do um, of what you're going to do for next so you can prepare for our next episode. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Love it if you could share with me what you like best about what you heard today. Remember, this is our recovery. We're, We're reflecting on the last six months. So get out there and do that. Share this episode with friends if you know that they will benefit from these episodes. And I want you to dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams. Take care. Talk soon. Before you go, do you want to build confidence, belief, strength and courage in you to go after your big dreams in your life and in your sport? If you do, go to www.tiffany-mika.com and get a copy of my book, Focus, How to Reach Your Potential in Sport, Business and Life. I look forward to seeing you there. Dream big, believe in you, go after your dreams.